now to Burton. Kate Griffiths. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. We all know that vaccination is imperative for protecting lives and for economic recovery. And, and I'm therefore very concerned about the low vaccination take up amongst the BAME community. In Burton, there's now a targeted campaign to reach anyone from the BAME community that should have been vaccinated but hasn't. And a pop-up vaccination clinic has been arranged for this Friday at a local mosque. Can I urge my right honourable friend to ensure the resources are available so that further work can take place to reach out to these communities and ensure more clinics can take place in communities where take up is low? Madam Deputy Speaker, I would say to my honourable friend that uh, we are ensuring that public health messages are accessible and published in a large number of publications that ethnic minorities read, watch and listen to. And that's going to be absolutely critical in order to ensure that the message does get to all communities, especially those that are harder to reach. I'm pleased to hear about um, the vaccination efforts in Burton and that they are using local mosques. It's, um, it's a good uh, time again to re-emphasise that local efforts are going to be key in order to drive uh, in order to drive the vaccine uptake. It can't all be done from Whitehall and, and Westminster. But um, just to finish on the communication points, we are delivering communication on the channels that we believe that people do use, um, ethnic minority communities do use, and through individuals such as religious and community leaders, as I've mentioned before. DHSC have also set up regular interviews for clinicians with more than 20 ethnic minority newspapers and programmes, including The Voice, BBC Asian Network, Al Jazeera, British Muslim TV, ZTV, Hamodia, and The Jewish Chronicle. 